Alrighty, yo, hello, hello, hello. This is Els coming to you from Beam's Crafty Corner. And today we're going to talk about something a little different. Um, I've made a few of these. You guys have seen me do these. And I've had a few in my shop where I have the little silver charms. And I've detailed them with some paint. And I made a few of these today. And so we're going to go ahead and work on these. And I'm going to show you how I paint them, uh, what the process is, and what... Uh, special tools you need to do it okay so I'm gonna go ahead and get this off my desk and get everything set up and I'll be right back and we'll go ahead and talk about this so obviously you're gonna want some charms you may or may not want them onto an item already uh, you may want to paint them and put them on however you want to do that you're also gonna want some um, some really small brushes okay because you're working on some really small things here so you want some like really super super tiny little tipped brushes and if you don't have any you know you can always take something that has a bigger tip on it and like cut it at an angle or cut it down so that it fits more to what you want you're gonna want something to clean your uh, your brushes in and uh, I have this little top here on a ball jar and I like this because it lets me separate my brushes and some paper to clean up with and if you're blind like me, you'll probably want one of these. And what this is, is a magnifying glass with a light. Okay? So that I can see what I'm doing. It's entirely up to you. You may want one, you may not want one. Whatever you want to use. But uh, I will be using mine. And the other thing that you're going to want, and let me just, I'm just going to put this out of the way for the moment. Uh, the other thing that you're going to want to use to do this are these. And these are model paints, okay? And you're going to want to shake these up really well. And you can shake these up sort of the way you do um, nail polish. Just put it between your hands and go back and forth about a dozen and a half times. And that'll mix the color up for you. And I have uh, four colors today. I have... Um, three metallics. This is metallic red and a metallic black, a metallic gold, and then this is actually called ultraviolet blue, but it's not really ultraviolet. It's just a very bright blue. So I've got those four colors that we're going to be working with today. And I have some charms. So let's go ahead and start off with this one so this is a little skull that i have and uh, let me bring that up so you can see that that's just a little skull and i'm going to just paint just his hat band today and i want to do it in blue because that's the color that i'm working here i'm either going to do it in blue or black i think i'll do it in the black so i'm going to take my black paint open it up i'm going to turn on my light here and i'm going to get out one of my tiny little brushes here. And I'm just going to open my paint. And then underneath my magnifier so that I can see what I'm working on, I'm going to put a little bit of black paint uh, on my brush. And then I'm going to paint the part of my silver that is the hat band here. And then I'm just going to let this dry for a few seconds. And the reason I use marker. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to get started on uh, one of the other ones here. And one of the other ones I have is this little dragon. And I just want to do the wings on this in here. I want to do those red. So I'm going to shake up my red. Open it up. brush I'm going to come back in and I'm going to begin to paint 
just my dragon wings. And this is designed so that when it goes on here, it sort of takes on like an enamel look. And I'm going to put the first coat in, I'm going to let it dry, and then I'm going to come back and put in a second coat. And what this is going to do is it's going to give me that like baked enamel look. And then we have one more to do. Let me just get rid of that brush for a second. And that's this little like moon. And I just want to do the moon itself in gold. my gold right onto where I want it to be. And again, I'm probably going to do second coats on all of these. I suppose I should do his little face too his nose, his mouth, and this paint tends to um, bond better than just using like a regular enamel paint. So we're going to let all of these dry and then we'll come back and take a look at them. I'll be right back. So let's talk a little bit about the paint. So these are from Tester. They're model paints. They're just your standard model paints. As I said earlier, uh, some of these are metallics and some of these are just the regular paints. You don't want to get the flat. You do want to get the gloss or the uh, metallics on these, okay? Because you want them to shine on your jewelry. That being said, these are oil-based paints, so you need a different type of a cleaner for these. Most of us already have what we need to clean our brushes. Um, a lot of us have mineral spirits. We use this with like our colored pencils. If we want to blend them, you might use some mineral spirits to do that. The other thing um, that you might have in here, I don't have water in here. <laughs> okay. um, this is um, denatured alcohol and I use that to clean my brushes as well whenever I'm using this type of thing because this is an oil-based paint. And um, I do have a piece of refrigerator freezer paper down just to kind of keep everything from you know getting all over so that being said let's take a look at the pieces that we did today so the first piece that I did was the skull and all we did was painted the hat band black just to give it a little bit of an accent okay it changes up the look that's kind of the thing then we did the dragon and we just wanted to paint the wings red Okay, I could paint the whole dragon green if I wanted to, but I just, on this piece, I'm going red and white, so I just wanted to paint the wings red, okay? So we just painted in the wings. See, little wings painted red. And the last one that we did was this one over here, and this is like a little gold piece. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to paint the moon gold, so we had the silver on the background here, 
and then just a little bit of gold there on the uh, face of the moon itself. And so that is my little three pieces. And like I said, this is kind of a faux enamel that you can use on charms and because of the paint and the way the paint is designed it's going to stick it's not going to flake off of these okay so that being said that's my project for today if you have any questions as always go ahead and reach out to me i would love to help you and answer any questions you may have and i'd love to see any creations that you make so if you make anything go ahead and either sign send it to me directly or you know if you're shy or if you don't mind just go ahead and put it in my group on my group page so everybody can see the beautiful things that you create until i see you again if you're new here thank you so much for coming go ahead and hit that red button for me like me ring my bell and share me with all your friends and then your friends can be my friends and my friends can be your friends and our friends can get to be friends before you know we have a giant crafting community until the next time bye bye guys